During initial setup when importing from the store, default listing settings are added to create the eBay listing. This includes listing, payment, shipping, and return information. This information will be used by default when importing products from the store into Inkfrog to create the eBay listing. First, set up your default listing settings. Enter your country, your postal code, your location, then choose your eBay market and click Continue. Next, set up your import categories. Choose all possible top-level eBay categories that the products would use. This will ensure that the products will only be placed within those eBay categories. If none are selected, Inkfrog will still attempt to match all of the products, but this will increase the likelihood of some products ending up with the incorrect eBay category. The opportunity to change these category selections is available on the Import and List step. Set up your default payment settings. First, enter your PayPal email address, and then enter any additional checkout instructions you want your buyers to see. Then click Continue. Next, set your default shipping settings. First, select your shipping type, whether or not you will use eBay's global shipping program. Choose your handling time, for domestic shipping services, select the service, choose whether or not to offer free shipping, you can select additional shipping services, enter a handling fee. If you've set up calculated rate discount profiles on eBay, you can select that here, and choose whether or not to apply a promotional discount profile. If you're going to offer international shipping, select your shipping service, whether or not you'll offer free shipping. You're able to add additional shipping services. Enter your handling fee. Choose whether or not to use a calculated rate discount profile and apply a promotional discount profile. Then choose continue. Set up your default return settings. Select the number of days items must be returned within. Refund must be given as. Return shipping will be paid by buyer or seller. Whether or not you charge a restocking fee. And enter any additional return policy details you would want your customers to see. Then click Finish. Select the Store Connector Settings button to set up the Store Sync settings. Use the information icons for further details on each setting. These are very important because these tell Inkfrog what to sync between your store and the eBay listing. For further information, please see our other tutorials, which will go over each setting in detail. Next, we'll select which products to import from your store. Choose Import All Products or manually select which products to import. If there are recently added products to the store, first select the Refresh Now link. If you've selected Import All, then click the Next button and review your products that are ready for import. If you've chosen Manually Select, Choose the Select Products button, select the products to import, then click Close, then select Next. Review and revise your products by clicking on an item to the left. We've gathered all of the product data and automatically mapped best matching eBay details. Using eBay's best practices, the products will be listed with a good till canceled listing duration if available, new item conditions, and other item specifics. It's best to review individual listings for accuracy. Review eBay categories, confirm brands and product identifiers, 
provide accurate item condition, provide additional item specific. Once the review is complete, use the Import and List button at the top right to list the completed items to eBay. After the products have been imported and or listed, return to the library at any time to make further revisions. Individual Product Review Select a product title on the left. To the right is the product information, which includes the store ID, the SKU or number of variations, the price range, and inventory. If the listing exists on eBay, choose Map to Existing Listing. If it does not, then continue to review. First review the eBay category, and you're also able to add a secondary eBay category if desired. Review item condition and condition description. Also review any eBay required item specifics such as brand as well as add any additional item specifics for the product. The default payment, shipping, and return profiles are selected. You're able to create additional profiles if needed by selecting the gear button. Once the review is complete, select Save Settings, then use the Import and List button to list the completed items to eBay.